See what the headlines are saying this morning across Nigeria. Really interesting ones and disturbing ones as well. But I have with me journalist Ifi Onyegbule as well as uh, public affairs analyst and chartered accountant uh, Sheson Okwade. It's good to have you, gentlemen of the press. There are no ladies in the press. So. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Ifi, really nice to see you. Good to see you. Again. Okay, let's get into uh, business now. Daily Trust is where we start from. Uh, name those colluding with bandits. MES, tell minister. Buhari orders routing of kidnappers, others, and president must address Nigerians, Rep says. Okay, uh, this is a fallout of uh, the Minister of Defense recently, a few days ago, saying that uh, they got intel that uh, traditional, some traditional rulers were colluding with uh, the bandits. Okay, this is a response to that. Moving from daily trust, let's go to the vanguard now. In security, Buhari launches offensive, orders ruthless action and has some multiple riders there to explain further. 15 persons killed, houses, cars, motorbikes burned in Benue. Northern elders task Buhari on Manis. Reps give him ultimatum. Rejig security, Pandev tells Buhari, get to the roots, or Haneze is saying that. We are for a secured Nigeria, Fanny Ferry Falano threatens uh, public protests. And many Zamfara royal fathers involved in gold mining. IGP is revealing that. Another revelation for Nigerians from the security agencies. Moving from uh, the vanguard, let's go to the Daily Sun. The Daily Sun is saying IMF recommends total fuel subsidy removal for Nigeria. It says Africa spent $5.2 trillion on that in four years. $5.2 trillion on subsidy in Africa in four years. Okay, we'll take a look at that on the show as we get along. From Daily Sun, let's move to The Guardian now. Guardian is saying victory for PDP as Supreme Court dismisses APC's cold appeals. And uh, it has some writers there, notices, notices incurably defective, grossly incompetent, says acting CJN. And we can offer us to reconcile, uh, reconcile with Amechi others for reverse progress. And then from there, let's move to the blueprint. The blueprint is our last paper this morning. Buhari orders security chiefs deal ruthlessly with bandits and kidnappers. And Abuja Kaduna Road cleared, safe for travels. IGP is saying that. You saw that on the news earlier on. Name names in Zafar killings. Monarchs challenge minister. Name names right now. Name names. Let us hear you. Name names. Okay, let's get into the uh, discussion now. Gentlemen, what, what I'd like us to talk about are these security issues. Mm. Uh, you will recall that a uh, few, days, few, days, few days ago, uh, the Minister of Defense came out to tell Nigerians that uh, some traditional rulers were involved or, or you know, were, were complicit in the... Uh, in, the, in the activities of bandits. And here now we have uh, the president giving matching orders to security agencies to deal ruthlessly with any of them at his court. Sherson, let me start with you on this. Uh, Mike, my worry about these security issues, though I'm not a security expert, but uh, you, you know that common sense require that you don't give us security tips easily the way we come to the to the pages of the papers to share some of these things. The, the president given an uh, open wherever that they should deal ruthlessly. If an expert know what they are doing, some of those guys by now should have find their way behind the bar. If you know them, why are you seeking a consent? Why do you need the Nigerian people to say, is it to justify that you're working? As we speak, we Nigerians never believe that they're working. So, president coming, giving orders, it sounds to me very funny. What we need is, if you know the person, how can you know a thief? And you are pampering the thief. All mm. you need to do, you know what the law stipulates. Deal with the person. Let you don't the law take order. its course. Yeah. All right, if you, do you think something is basically wrong with, with the highest level of security agencies coming to say that we know from intelligence, those some persons who are complicit in security issues and all of that, and not doing anything about it? I think everything is wrong with this matter. I would think that um, just as it's done in uh, civilized democracies, I like to use that word, they don't go on the pages of newspapers telling people we know them, we know them. 
what we expect you to do as people who are paid with taxpayers' money is go after whoever it is, then let's see who they are when you have ascertained and actually clarified that these are the people, you know, um, causing the trouble that we're talking about. I don't believe in you coming on the pages of papers, the papers to say, look, we know those people. Then why don't you go after them? Now you're coming to say, name names, give us who they are and all of that. It's not for you to go back and forth. So I think there's something wrong. Of course, some people might be aiding and abetting this, you know, what it is that those people are doing because they can't just come and operate in a place where they don't know. Mm. They have people who give them information. Collaborators. People who collaborate. Yes, and people who point out, you know, places to go or what's happening where. So I think the security operatives should just do the job for which All right, not, she's not there, there is this issue of... There is this complaint of inconsistency sometimes. You hear government uh, agencies saying, uh, okay, traditional rulers are complicit on one hand. Other times you hear politicians are involved. <laughs> Other times you hear foreign uh, 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 miners who have licenses are complicit and, and all of that. There's back and forth. How does it compound the issue? That, that, that's an area I, I just want to mention now. You, the few things you'll be hearing now is that those guys have given a, a defensive attack back to them name names mm -hmm. and the next thing you see the security agency fizzle look at what we are during corruption we know the people that have actually embezzled the money very soon we'll put them up this up till now we've not seen any now these guys have given the defense said so name names the next thing you see the minister will go silent well, we want to challenge the security expert. We right. don't need you to get A lot state. of people are talking about rejigging the, the leadership of the security uh, apparatus. But however, let's leave it here for now. <coughs> Excuse me, Shesonkwade, thank you very much for coming. Thank Ife you. Ngule, thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Right.